Hello YouTubers, I am out here today with another resin pour. This one here is a blue color and the color that I'm using is uh, it's a purple pleasures pack I believe that I got and this was one of the blues that was in it. It's all the different shades of blues and purples and pinks. Um, so I've just sanded this one down. It's a piece of walnut. Uh, it's got a lot of sap wood in it. Uh, the colors on it is pretty solid blue. I will be using some wipe on poly like I use on all of mine. And let me see if I can get this thing open real quick. I started using wipe on poly oh about a year ago. It's the only thing I've found so far. Hold one second here. That it really helps restore the color back to what it was. Uh, as you can see, this is kind of a solid blue doesn't have a whole lot of transparency to it even after sanding it to a thousand grit it really won't have a whole lot of transparency to it uh, a lot of the ones i do use have a lot of mica in them and so it really gives it a good uh, transparent with a little white mica color inside of it so let's go ahead and finish this one out let's put some wipe on on here Sit this on the ground. I like doing this outside because the color really shines better outside. Love walnut. It's one of my absolute favorite woods, especially when you're doing resin with it. All of my walnut is grown here in Kentucky. And actually all of the wood that I use for my resin it's cut from a sawmill from a friend of mine who owns a portable sawmill. And so he kind of hooks me up. And so now I have a huge, huge amount of wood to play with. So this is actually a very beautiful color. Once it's been finished out like that, as you can tell, I don't know if you can tell from that video, but it's got some sparkle to it. Let me flip it over and do the other side. This other side has way more, uh, it's a live edge piece. So the live edge might shine through a little bit. I love the way this looks. I got into resin about a year ago uh, by accident. I had a big piece of walnut, in fact I think this is one of them, from a tree from a farmer who had cut them down and I uh, was just going to throw them for scrap wood and I said well I'll take it from you so I took it to my friend who's a, who cuts saws up this lumber and he cut this for me and this was just one of the scrap pieces that really didn't have much of a use so I decided to save it for a resin pour one day and uh, I think it really really helps preserve it it's almost like a stitch in time at this point we did put a little bit of sparkle glitter in this that you can buy and it's a blue sparkle I don't know if you can really see that very well, but it's got an awesome sparkling to it, almost like those bass boats do. All right, I have several more of these to make, and I will videotape them. And just keep following me, and you can see the progress. All right, talk to you later. Bye.